Okay, so before I go back to Colony 4, there's a couple things I need to do. I need to go do Charity and Hypocrisy. I need to go up here to do Melanie of Mourning. But I also want to go and do this one, which is Securing Supplies. And I think I can get to it from this Salus Terrace Camp. So I'm going to go do that one first. Everyone okay? We saw you fighting and tried to mobilize as soon as we could, but not necessary, mate. Yeah, you're pretty tough customers. We kept the supplies intact, but it's only a matter of time before someone else comes for them. Yeah, we'll get them shifted. Thanks a lot. This place really is crawling with trouble, though. We'll have to reassess the deployment. Can we help out with that? No, you're okay. I'll discuss it with the bods in charge. That sounds like a plan. Great, I'll be off. Thanks again. I'm sure Colony Lambda has everything well in hand. Indeed, we should interfere, shouldn't interfere in their affairs too much. Okay then, time for us to be off ourselves. Oh, a Hulk. Maybe I'll go do that real quick. Could you help me out here? On it. Here we go. All right, let's go talk to the traders. Hmm, what about this and this? Is now a good time? Mmm, for what? Memo, memo, not good to eat. Very tough and gamey. Yeah, uh, we're here to help Shill Shill make a register. Shill Shill? He's a jumpy one. Then lead with that. Memo Memo thought friends were bad people. Here, enjoy stone. We were trying to tell you, but then you started panicking. Everything give Memo Memo with heebie-jeebie lately. Memo Memo miss Tam Tam. Memo Memo give friends yellow stone, so no getting angry. Okay. Have handed it over. Next time, please visit more gently. We've made some new friends. Many customers here, virtue of proximity to battlefield. Good place. But scary because of chance of battle coming to Memo Memo. Hey, look. Let's pitch in. What? You? Conversation can wait. We'll take it from here. Look at their derpy little faces. I kind of feel bad that we're going to attack them. How is everyone? No injuries? Why did you help us? Do we need a reason? Well, Agnes helping out Kevis is unheard of, isn't it? Your point? Do you not get it? We do not trust you. Mimi, it's him. Oh, that guy from... Is that from Colony 4? Oh, you again. You just don't die, do you? We heard you were in close with the commander. But that doesn't mean anyone else in Colony 4 trusts you. I'm like super behind on these quests because I think at this point Ethel's still alive. We're not trying to win your trust. You just needed help. What did you say? I don't care about obligations. I just don't want to turn my back on anyone who fights for others. That's why we stepped in. No more reason than that. So you act in accordance with your principles, that's it? Heh, <laughs> that's the best lie an Agnes lover like you can come up with? Sorry, we overstepped our bounds. We'll go. Yeah, you can stay with the monsters. Ugh, okay, fine. I approve of Ethel's judgment. Huh? I apologize for what I said before. I was just trying to test you. Come on, Maxie, what are you saying? The commander trusted you from the start. We have a duty to abide by her wishes. We heard about the thing with the medical supplies. That was all you. Anyway, we may as well introduce ourselves now. I'm Maxie, tactician leader. Good lad, Maxie. Uh, what kind of test were you talking about earlier? We wanted to use this opportunity to make sure, some, sure of something, whether we can entrust our mission to, well, uh, what? Captain, you mean your strategy was aimed at them? I was pretty sure you'd pass. Wait, are you serious right now? Them? Jeremy, I'm not saying this makes up for the past, but we can't forget that we're fighting for the living. Yeah, Jeremy. Ugh. We're in a critical situation. We need to break out of it while we can, and we've got just the plan to do it. I want your help to make it happen. Are you sure about this? I'll be frank, we don't have the firepower. We're too busy shoring up col colony defenses, so taking out some enemies will help us. 
But more than that, I thought that proving your sincerity to everyone would be inspiring. I see. There's some days yet before the operation begins, so just think it over. Right. We got some more quests here. Yeah. Hey, by the way, have you met Yord from the Tactician Squad yet? Yord and I are kind of a unit. Sure, she's a little uptight sometimes, but I depend on her a lot. Anyway, if you see her, you should say hi. It'll be good for us all to get to know each other, right? Oh, so that's how they do it. Well, where are Doran and Bam Bam? Queen's crispy fillets. <laughs> Here we go. What are they doing? Bam Bam is free. What is happening? What? Is okay, bye. What? Hey, get back here. Denzel, what happened? Are those delinquent lugheads? Just when I thought they'd come crawling back, they jump in a levness and fly off. What? Now they're both gone? I'm lost. Somebody take me home. What? Now? Are you going to haul them back? Those pampered, ungrateful brats? <laughs> they're so set on dying in the wilderness, they have my blessing. Okay. I don't think they're going to die in the wilderness or anything, but it's hard to not be concerned. It's not safe out there. Let's see if we can convince them to come back. The tactician squad got back from recon. Right then, right then, I guess that means it's finally time for you know what. I wonder what Maxie's plan is. Whatever it is, he trusts us now, right? Something to celebrate. Yeah, it's good to know we haven't just been yelling into the void. We're useful. That said, not everyone was happy. That Jeremy lad, he's probably been through a lot. And Maxie said it himself, not everyone's ready to be bezies with us. In which case, it's wise is it wise to take him at his word? I think we should, must even. He's worried about Colony 4, naturally. And if we can resolve the misunderstandings about us, as Maxie said, well said, Mimi. Act first, worry later, yeah? Yeah, there's no point rehashing it. We just need to do what we believe is right. Tactical eradication. Okay. Doesn't matter what Maxi says, you Agni and Skulm are still the enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't be getting any funny ideas while you're here, okay? Mimi, um, should we move along here, maybe? Yes, alright. I kind of just want to punch this guy in his stupid face. Word of the flame clock getting smashed has spread to the other colonies now, I'm sure. All your enemies will be tightening security, too, thanks to that little stunt. You've only got yourselves to blame here. Hey, lay off us already. After everything we've done for you... Uni, don't let him rally you up. That's exactly what he wants. We're going to be running on fumes if we keep this up. Have those new supplies still not arrived yet? I apologize. I'll go make an inquiry to procurement division right away. Okay, irritation. Oh, Boliaris. Oh, phew, you made it back okay. Boliaris gave, it a, gave us a heads up. We heard what happened. So Ethel's. Oh, so this is like after the um, events of chapter four, then. Your expression says it all. She bet her life on the fight and she's gone. Ugh. Oh, Ethel. She was always charging off her on her own. Spark it. OK, enough blathering. We need to decide where we go from here. Yeah, you're right. So now what, Boliaris? Boliaris, hello? Mm? No, not mm. We need a plan. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I just need some time to think. Excuse- Hey, Boliaris! He's taking it pretty badly, as you'd expect. But the smoothest course of, is for the lieutenant to step up as commander. If things fall apart here, then that's going to endanger Colony Force survival. Yeah, but he's not up to it. Nothing we can do. We need Ethel now more than ever. Boliaris. 
Rousing Boliaris. Okay. So that must have been... Oh, so Wait. Oh, there's two doing. quests. No wonder. Okay. So this is now Maxie's plan. Wait. You're really going to accept? Ugh, come on, mate. You're the one who brought it up. It's strange for me to say, but it's quite the selfish request. Nothing I could have done if you'd change your mind. Do you trust us a bit now? I do. I've learned not to be so hasty in judging people. So what's the plan? Essentially, there are three monsters to take out. But not essentially, it won't be... But not essentially, it won't be easy, which is why you came to us. Good guess. These three are pretty big deals. They control all the monsters around the col colony perimeter. You could say they're the boss monsters. We scouted out their lairs, but Colony 4 doesn't have the firepower to spare on an extermination mission right now. Deploying all the squads who are meant to be protecting the colony would be pretty backwards. But as long as these bosses are running wild, you can't resolve the monster attacks. Exactly. So, think you can do it? In our sleep. We'll take them out in no time. Could we find out any more about these monsters? If you want to know more, then you should ask the scouts who found the lairs. My team, actually. Jeremy, Flaron, and Yord are your guys. Oh, wait. Wasn't Jeremy the one who was with you before? Yeah, yeah. Look, if he gives you any grief, report it to me and I'll deal with him. First order of business is to take those three scouts. That Talk to those three scouts, then. Thanks for this, and good hunting. Captain's already briefed me. I'll give you the info we collected on the monster. Much appreciated. It's a wolf, but bigger than a normal one. It covers a wide territory and is extremely agile. We analyzed its movements and confirmed Panto Basin as the site of its lair. And that's about it. Thanks, that's plenty of information for us to be getting on with. Don't let your guard down, we've already lost friends to this. We'll take it seriously and we'll do our best to put it down. Thank you. The commander would come here often when she needed to think. She told me her favorite thing in the world was the view of Colony 4 she got from here. We vowed to follow her to the ends of the world. That's the kind of person she was. Ethel will always be our commander. I can't imagine anything else. I'm sorry, Boliaris. I don't know what to say. Sorry. I guess I must look pretty pathetic to you guys right now. Say, do you reckon you could do something for me? Yeah, of course. Anything. Can you take me to where the commander had her last battle? Ooh. Boliaris, that's... Yeah, we can take you. Oh, God. Oh, no. We are gonna cry. Okay, let me go do the rest of these first. So, as I said, I know I do a lot of side quests, and this may not be for everybody, but... I feel like they're important for the story, so I want to make sure that I'm doing them. And if you don't want to watch the side quest episodes, that's totally understandable. If you want to just watch the main story. Um, I try to make it kind of apparent in my thumbnails, like what I'm doing at any given time. I just try to keep my thumbnails spoiler free for people that haven't played the game yet. But, you know, I usually try to make it seem pretty obvious where I am given my title and my thumbnail. So if it seems like it's going to be something that you're not interested in, hopefully, you know, just just skip that one. And then, you know, I try to get back to the main story when I can. But since this is my first time playing and I really enjoy, like, all of this, I really am trying to make sure I do as many of these as I can. What do you want? Didn't Maxie tell you? We want to hear what you know about the monsters you scouted out. The target's hunting grounds are southwest of here in Nile Valley. Oh, now Uni's got the caffeine. Anything else? Not for you. What isn't knowing its look? What isn't knowing its location enough? Try not to die, traitors. Oh, wait, listen to you. Leave it, Lands. Mm. Here you are. I guess you want to know about the monster. Correct. Would you be willing to give us more detailed information? Your enemy is the boss of the Arachnos. No. And if that wasn't trouble enough, it'll have brought minions along. Great. If you want to be certain to catch it, you'll want to ambush it by Raptor Perch. Makes sense, Raptor Perch, you said. Where is that exactly? In the middle of Danning Desert, east of here. Got it. We'll take a look. People died to get this month's information, you know. But we have to defend the colony. So I don't say this out of duty. All our hopes go with you. 
I'm probably just imagining it, but does Colony 4 not feel a bit tense to you? I noticed that too. Maybe something happened. I've heard that per 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 procurement of supplies isn't going too well. Not having what they need when they need seems to be an ever-present problem. Ah yeah, that would explain why they're so moody. And who's in charge of that stuff again? A department called the Procurement Division, according to the soldiers who were whining about it. If we're ever in the area, why not pay a visit to this procure- Oh my god, I cannot say this word. Procurement Division. Hello there, anything I can do for you? Heard the Procurement Division's having problems. You gonna be okay? Oh, you heard that, did you? Well, to be completely honest, I wouldn't say okay is the word I'd use. We've been swamped with requests for supplies from every team, and we've hardly been able to keep up. Queen's Beans, is it that bad? There's always some kind of trouble, so with all these shortages, things are getting pretty desperate. As resources are so limited, it must be impossible to fulfill the team's demands. Exactly, and if we so much as make a mistake in the distribution, everyone's at each other's throats in a second. This is worse than I expected. Is there anything we can do to help? There is one favor you could do, if you'd be so kind. One of my subordinates is a nopon called Makoko, taking care of materials for the cooks. And Brunella is looking out for the medic team. Could you help them out? Yeah, of course. Makoko and Brunella, right? It doesn't matter who you help first. Just thank you. What problem? Makoko is busy full with crafts. Scram and go bye-bye. Well, Makoko, you're a nopon after my own heart. Someone sent us to help you out. Then you must not dilly-dally and say so in the first place. Down to tax of brass. Makoko, is ingredients not ready yet? Oh my god, look at their little glasses. You back again, stubborn like Rinon. When Makoko said no ingredient left is no ingredient. But everyone tummy grumbly rumbly is very annoying to listen to. Annoyed one is Makoko, go away. <laughs> okay then, Kukucha waiting patiently. Please be quickity quick. What is going on? Everyone unreasonable, only think of selves. What Makoko do when no ingredient to be had? That sounds rough. Stock need to be refilled. You, if you're so eager for helping them, then source ingredients. Anything can be an ingredient if you try hard enough. Could you give us a hint? Fruits, vegetables, meat, anything you find is fine. Bring and bring until stores are full. Could at least say please. Well done, Makoko can finally replenish stores at long last. Makoko helpful, Kukucha here to ask if ingredients ready yet. Oh, helpful, Kukucha. Mame, not again. Tummies of everyone making upsetting noises. Gur gur and bubble bubble. Makoko already hear this. Kukucha, kindly take this and leave vicinity of Makoko. Thankings in advance. Thanks, that perfect. Kukucha fill tummies of everyone with this. Kukucha will take only what needed. Makoko had it with culinary team. <laughs> to say thank you, Kukucha will give Makoko grand high discount on favorite meat of Makoko. Oh ho! Oh. Please not hesitate when needing more stock up. Makoko will handle meat with handling of priority. Kukucha delighted to hear. Can always count on Makoko. These no pawn. Was that bribery? Look, our lives are riding on this stuff, you know? I know, I'm sorry. I'll get it as soon as I can. I... Ugh, that's what you said last time. It's not that I think you're shirking your duties or anything. But if the worst happens to our patients, the procur bleh, procurement division will bear the mark of the responsibility. Mark my words. I get it. You'd better have it ready for us this time, or I swear. Wow. Can we not be so mean to her? She looks pretty young. Yeah, you can threaten me till you're blue in the face, but I can't perform miracles. Are you Brunella? Sorry to bother you while you're in the middle of something. What's this about? We're here on Solon's behalf to give you a hand. Oh goodness, really? Thank you so much, Solon. Perfect timing. In that case, sorry to go straight to business, but could you harvest some med medicinal herbs and flowers? Do you have anything specific in mind? Oh, just anything you find that grows around here. Right, yeah, we'll just pick everything we see then. Look, Lance, I've already been doing that. I got you. That's the spirit. Thank you so much. Did you find some? Um, Let's which see. One was it again? Yes, I have. Wow, apparently poison ivy is a medicinal herb worth 10%. The more you know. Thank you. This is perfect. I'll get them to the medic team right away. 
What's the matter? You okay? You're looking a little bit peaky. Really sorry about this, but could you do one more thing for me? Would you come with me to the medic team? Yeah, why? Well, these supplies are kind of incredibly late. Do you think Olashandra is going to get mad at you again? Please, I'm begging you. Don't. You don't even have to walk me all the way. I just need a little courage to face her, please. Wow, the procurement division really has it rough. Okay, here goes nothing. Good luck. I'm so sorry we're late, but we've got the supplies you requested. <laughs> Have some poison ivy. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, you know, while you're here, there's something I want to say to you. Oh, um, okay? I'm sorry for blowing up at you before. I'm so sorry. I'll be more careful and... Huh? No matter how difficult the situation was, it was unreasonable of me to take it out on you. If we didn't have a procurement division, we wouldn't be able to help anyone at all. Captain Alessandra, I'm counting on you. Tell Saul and I said so, okay? I will. Thank you. Looks like everything's sorted here. Let's report back to Solon. I heard back from the both of them. You've been busy, haven't you? Eh, it wasn't that much work. I know our duties seem pretty plain and boring. But without you, without us, you can't have a colony. In a way, you could say that this is our battlefield. Whoa. It true, no Makoko, no colony. And without our leader, things would be really bad. Let us know if you ever need anything else, okay? We'll do whatever we can. No, Makoko, able to take break. Please help Makoko every day. <laughs> You've made such a difference, thank you. On behalf of the whole procurement division, thank you. There's only three of them, like, they're trying their best. Some Foronis types have a fabricator installed that manufactures the materials needed for self-sufficiency, I heard. Word is the tactician squad found wrecks of Pharaonises like that while they were scouting the Danic Desert in Ribby Flats. We can't remove the fabricators from them, unfortunately. They're hardwired straight into the chases. It's a real shame. On the other hand, we can still use the fabricators in situ- So it's not a total washout. What? You kind of cut yourself off there, sir. Nakoko sent many yummy ingredients to here. Time for new phase of culinary experiments. Ambition of Kukucha is basically stuff tummies of friends with yummy food until with, until fill with happiness. Captain Solon's even tempered, does his job quickly and accurately. He's kind and always cares for his troops. Sometimes I just want to stop and squeal at how perfect he is. He's simply golden. I uh I think I might respect him so much the respect goes full circle and turns to fear. Oh, Solon doesn't seem scary. That's a really complex feeling you're experiencing there. Oh, so that's how wow, they did not get very far. They left. They're like 16 feet away from the colony. Hey, there you are. We wait for you. Are you joking? You just zoomed right past us. We're free now. Clear the dust out of your ears and listen. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Me and Bam Bam talked it through. After we heard how you lot live, we decided that colony living just wasn't for us. He right, that stubborn head place only oppressed Bam Bam and Doran. We want travel, same as you. We look for way of life not which not tie us down. We free no pawn and man. Queen's oath. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that kind of talk. I think it's best if you go back to Colony 4 for now, yeah? Right, we'll smooth things over with Dinzel. Nah, we've already decided. We're free now. Yeah, you said that already. Weren't you supposed to be looking out for Fuzzy here? Bam Bam and Doran best Bam Bam and Doran best friends as one. When one die, both dies. What? Let's not get carried away. The face. But we can definitely do anything, and we'll be fine. Totally, for real. Okay. Well, if we can't convince you, then will you at least promise to be careful? Bam Bam proud Levinus owner. Bam Bam invincible. In this baby, I can totally read. See you. See you again, wherever the wind takes us. Oh my god, they're just gonna venture off. Okay. Bye! <laughs> they're just, okay. Yeah, I'm worried about them. 
We never had a hope of persuading them to come back. Better to let them do as they please. I guarantee we're going to run into them again. When that happens, we can just try again, innit? You're probably right. Oh, I'm sure we'll see them again. And with that, I think our job is done. What say you, Noah? Yes, I think so too. Thank you for all, all for helping me with this. That should bring a little peace to those who fell part way. Yeah, I really hope it does. I hear you lot have been going around the colony fussing about and getting up in other people's business. Is that right? What? Are you saying we're in the way? We need to butt out? Nah, come on. You're putting your words in my mouth there. I mean, you're doing good. Showing a bit of solid grit. I respect that. Rumor of your good deeds are flying about. If you got the do-gooding bug, by all means, keep doing it till... Is it really true that Doran left the colony? Doran, that's his name. Ah, uh, this is a real tragedy. Doran was the best test subject I could have hoped for in terms of bod bodily fortitude, at least. Gee, I can't imagine why he left. That's completely shattered my image of you. Oh, so yeah. Maxie, it's done. All three monsters are taken care of. What? Really? Here's some proof. A little bit of each of the monsters. Isn't nature nature beautiful? This is... Huh. Wow. Um, yeah. Thanks. This will result in less attacks from the monsters, too. That's gotta be good. We'll take it from here, then. Don't worry. We won't let your work be in vain. That said, if I were to ask one more little favor... Yeah, sure. Whatever you want. Could you run these monster pieces up to the procurement division? Could you run these monster pieces up to the procurement division? We'll pass them to Solon if that's okay. Thanks again for all this. I can't express how grateful I am. Oh wait, Maxi has something else to say. Reacting dynamically to the flow of battle. That's pretty impressive, I'd say. Ouroboros' power is not to be sniffed at. They say that attack is the best defense. You have to, you have the option to press brutal, brutal attacks, harnessing the firepower of a full team. That would be some vicious offense indeed, but the essence of tactics is to adapt to the enemy. Yeah, I'm sure you're right about that. Overwhelming force counts for nothing if you can't survive a battle. Much obliged, you lot. What can I do for you? Maxi asked us to deliver these. Let's see. Oh, looks like certain operation went pretty well. Thanks so much for everything you've done. I've, I'll find a good use for these. It was pretty out of character for Maxi to have entrusted you with this job. We thought so too. Getting outsiders involved is such an important task. No, not that. I mean, on a personal level, Maxi used to be such a lone wolf. We're in the same cohort, and he used to be a real loose cannon. He was really a lot to deal with. Huh, really? Him? That's a surprise. The old Maxie would have gone on a solar mo solo monster hunt, but somehow he became a squad captain and learned how to ask for help. It's kind of a moving story, really. Oops, that certainly took a turn. Let's keep this between us, okay? Hope to see you around the colony. Cool. Um, wait, now I have four? Okay, I think there might be a new one here in the colony, but give me a second. Talk to Floron. Monster is only a single word, but it hides a true diversity. Some you only see at night, others in certain weather. Maybe this sounds like trivia to you now, but in some situations, it can mean the difference between life and death. Indeed, to know your enemy is to conquer him, a maxim I have ever lived by. I couldn't agree more. You can't go wrong with a good bit of intel. H hey, you, are you okay? Ugh, the unit, all dead. Got a report to Captain. Shh, don't talk. Get him to the medic team. Hurry. We're gonna get a doctor. Just hang on a little longer. Uh, where are the doctors? Why aren't they there? How are the bumps and bruises? Better, mostly. Thanks for saving me. What happened out there? You mentioned a unit? Uh, well, it's fine. You can talk to them. Maxi. Thanks for watching out for him. <laughs> Seems like all I'm doing lately is getting bailed out by you lot. We just happened to be in the area. Pretty lucky. Captain Maxi, I... Take it easy, okay? I'll do the talking. Fighting with Agnes has kind of lost its meaning since Colony Force flame clock was broken. So we sent secret messengers out all over to tell other colonies the truth. So he's one of those messengers. Right, part of a covert team dispatched by the tactician squad. If everything went well, I was hoping we could establish a cooperative network between colonies. I'm sorry, Captain. The unit is gone. What? But what happened? Was it monsters? No, not monsters. Elevenus attacked us. From Magnus? I... I don't know. How can you not know? I just... It just showed up out of nowhere. Before we knew it, our escort was... 
I'd never seen a Levitus like that before. Are we talking about that stealthy one? It was monstrous. What do you think of all this? As soon as they hit the unit, it should have been clear to them we didn't have flame clocks, so there wasn't anything for them to gain. And despite that, they annihilated them. It doesn't make sense, but if they did it knowing full well what our goal was... You're saying the enemy's intention was to stop the information from getting out, to isolate Colony 4? A leaveness that appeared out of nowhere, like, nothing's anyone, like nothing anyone's ever seen. No, it can't be. Are we talking about the stealthy one? What's up, Noah? Maxie, do you know where the attack took place? Well... We met them at Murmur Rise. They had just, they must have been lying in wait. Is that where we were? There you have it, but you aren't actually going there, are you? I'm afraid we probably are. I have a hunch as to who the assailants might be. Are you serious? I'm not sure yet. That's why I want to do some digging. Hmm. But this is a Colony 4 matter, so you have the final say. I'd be grateful if you would, actually, but I do have a condition. I get to go with you. No skin off our collective nose, but is it a good idea for the captain to leave his post? No, but I'm going anyway. Okay, then we should set off soon. Captain. We'll take care of this. Your job is to rest. Understood. Luck be with you. I mean, unless this is Donic and uh, Bam Bam. Like, is this their villain origin story? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, still alive, are you? And you look well, even worse. Spark it. Why is everyone around here got such a wait around here such a snuffing goody two twos? It can't end like this. It just can't. Can you just get over yourself, my good sir? Jeremy's got a real nasty attitude for sure, but you've got to bear in mind that Agnes killed his friends. Emotion often gets ahead of logic, so you might need to tread carefully around him in case he gets any ideas. How about I sock him one first? That'd put him in his place. Lance, are you for real? Okay. So, yeah, this is either that stealth leveness that we saw, like, way back. Wait, was that during... Was that during the mission when we were trying to find food? We have to keep After the Turkin stole our stuff? Or was that later? Because it could very well be that one. Okay, so they're not the attackers. I think it's the stealth leveness then. Come on, Bam Bam, go take a look. Bam Bam, too scared. Hey, you're the one who's most annoyed by that noise. Doran noticed racket first. Here we go. Hi, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, nice, it's you. Good timing, mates. There's been this terrifying noise going on for a while now. It very petrifying. So now we're trying to decide whether we should go and see what's making it. Do you make all your decisions through fighting? The problem is, what if it's something awful? That would be awful. I mean, yeah, certainly very awful. How Bam Bam and Dora continue peaceful travels in such state. Two ashes with it all. Is this as free as we're ever going to be? Bam Bam not satisfied with that. Journey of Bam Bam only just beginning. I can't with these two. <laughs> hey, since it's so important to you, what if we go look with you? Would you? You do that for Bam Bam? If all you want to know is what's making the noise, then it hardly it'll hardly take that long. You're lifesavers. We totally owe you for this. You clearly old wing at traveling. Well, we're not going to get much done sitting around here. Let's head towards the source of the noise. Fear of the unknown. Well, at least we know they're not the attackers. Oh, I didn't so think they were, they but, you know. Oh. It's a chest. Why does it seem trapped? Is this the noise? Is the noise coming from this? It's a supply container. It looked like airdrop break it. That sound of error. Oh, that makes sense. Huh, nothing to be scared of. Can we just stop this racket? Oh, hey, wait a sec. What if you just twiddle this here? Is it going to blow up? Okay, never mind. So we pretty much can't get at what's inside this container now. Let Bam Bam see. It not, it not so broken. All it needs is some elbow grease. Uh, if only we had the parts. We can manage something, if only. Do we have the parts? I like how they look right at us. Why, yes, we'd love to get these parts for you. Thank you for asking so nicely. Aw, <laughs> oh, you're so generous. 
Such magnanimosity. The part you want is the Serenity Jet. You should be able to find them easily around the old Canna battlefield. Probably. We've got the parts you need, but is this really enough to fix it? Yeah, that's just the ticket. Let me show you how to maintain how the maintenance and development team gets it done. Oh no, monster attracted by sound. I was wondering why it was just standing there looking at us. Once again, prolonged exposure to idiocy can inconveniences us. These two should come with a warning. <laughs> oh, don't say that. They're not bad people. Well, we'll take the monster. You take the container. Eek, help! Bam Bam no wanna die! Bam Bam no wanna die! I think they need to give up adventuring. Oh, come on! <laughs> I guess we're doing both. Let's just get this monster whacked. And that's goodbye, Mr. Locke. Open at will, folks. Nothing impossible for Bam Bam and Fred. Prodigal researchers come developers and sometime mechanics. <laughs> when did you get back? Alright. Wonder what's gonna be inside. Hope it's food. Bam Bam hoping for tasty sausage. Watch it be like nothing. It'd be em Watch it be empty. Oh no, never mind. There's actually some pretty good stuff. The spark's this. It not tasty sausage. Their combat supplies. Hmm, so this actually turned out to be useful. Eh, we don't need it. Uh, you're gonna be on your own. You probably do. How do you know? May as well take it. It's not like we're going to be fighting. Door and right. If not eatable, not valuable. Yeah, we'll generously gift it to you. Thanks for the help. Not gonna say no if you're offering. Cheers. Good. If you can use it, then consider it a little token of our appreciation. Bam Bam in agreement. Very pleased that it's useful to friends. Well, Bam Bam, I think it's time we head off on our next adventure. Let rip, friend. Weren't they bickering at each other before? Guess they're pretty easygoing. Guess so. Oh, wait. This might be... Because isn't this where we met that, that guy that Uni got the class from? I wonder if that's what this is. Although, wouldn't it be a hero quest? Well, that's a write-off. Let's search the area. Maybe whoever did this left some clues. Oh no, it is the stealthy Levnesses. Okay, who the... Found him. I knew it. Levnus is like the one that attacked us in Mac, Mac the Wildwood. Maxie, are you ready to fight? Why else do you think I came? They're just running away? Planning on leaving the party early? Wait. Hold on. It's Iris. What in the... It's not over yet. Here it comes. It's Iris is purple. Come here. I got something for you. Which means it's not part of Kevis or Agnes, just Ooh, like Ethel and uh, Kamarabi's Levnesses. Also, it's very low on its energy, too. Where did it go? Where the spark is it, those cowards? Snuff you all. Don't jerk us around. Get back here. <gasps> Maxie? My men died because of me through my own lapse in judgment. I may as well as killed them myself. All the revenge in the world won't change that. Your anger is natural. You lost friends. We can send your team off if you want. Could you, please? Yeah, so it seems like these Levnesses, they're not, so they're not part of Ouroboros because Ouroboros has like the, the kind of like whitish um, iris. And then Kevis is blue. Agnes is green. The only ones we've seen that are purple are Ethel and Kamaravi. So does that mean that there's like a separate set of Levnesses that are just being controlled by 
consoles? Like, on their own? Without being part of it? I don't know. Well, so much for unmasking the enemy. Yeah, so this is all just speculation, but you going around breaking flame clocks means that the war between us can stop. If that knowledge gets out, then we can end the war, right, which the consoles do not want. And this attack is the work of someone that doesn't want that to happen. Is that your theory? Whether it's true or not, it looks like we have to stay on guard against more than Agnes and monsters now. We have to be more careful about who our friends and enemies are. We can't afford to be careless. We won't make the same mistake twice. I promise you that. It also makes sense that it went to Colony 4 first because that was the original target of um, the castle. So, you okay, Maxie? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Thanks to you. Sorry, I'm going to get back to the colony. I have a lot of planning to do. Yeah, I bet. Better get yourself home. Those Levnesses were clearly after you. Don't die, okay? Yeah, my theory is it's a, um, it's another console, and either they're working with Evil Noah, or they're kind of going off on their own and doing their own thing, but that's definitely the same color iris that Ethel and Kamaravi had. And, hmm? Wait, did the stealthy Levness attack us before or after Ethel and Kamaravi did? Because I can't remember... My only thought, because it was P and O that did that, we never actually saw their bodies. So I guess that one's going to appear again later. My thought is that it's going to probably happen at another colony that we've rescued. I wonder if maybe I need to talk to Maxie again in order to get the next part of this so quest. Unless it doesn't show up unless I do more of the main quest. Because we did see that Levness during the main quest, I thought. Look. I'm sure those black ne Levnesses had their sights on you. Sooner or later, somewhere or other, you're going to see them again. I'll venture. Or you're going to see them again, I'll venture. So don't let your guard down. Yeah, don't worry. We won't. Okay. I think I am officially done with Colony 4 for now. That was a lot of quests. Wait. No, I still have to go bring Boliaris to Ethel, but otherwise I'm done.